listen, man, we bought a little time for y'all. Uh, to come on in. I'm finna get ready to turn the fan up. Uh, we want to have our first caller to call in. You got the bishop in here, Bishop Burton, John Burton Sr. from the tab. He's in the house, and you got me, yours truly, right here. And I'm just being frank. That's all we gonna be if you call. So, uh, you know, make it, write it down. If you scared, it write it, you know, do what you do. Hit us up, come on in, and we're gonna make this thing happen. All right, we're gonna go to a commercial, and we'll be right back. Gonna play some uh, oh, we got a call. I can't go now. I gotta, gotta take this call. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hello, this is Brother Reggie. Okay, Reggie, hold on, hold on, Brother Reggie. Call, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hi, Pompano. Okay, who this? Mr. Ledger. Hey, All right, y'all. hey, <laughs> Mr. Ledger. All right, listen, don't hang up. Don't hang up, Brother Reggie. Call. We're going back to Brother Reggie, see what question he had, and then we're coming right back to you. Don't hang up, all right? Okay. Gotcha. All right. Brother Reggie. Brother Reggie. Brother Reggie. You're 86. You done cut him out? Nah, I didn't. He must have got Brother him. Reggie. All right, go to Minister Ledger. Santana, I see you. Bless you, son. Why is everybody calling at once? Oh, the phone is lit. It's oh, it's freezing. We got something going. We got like five calls at one time, and y'all locked the phone. Can you get me back to Ledger? Yeah, I have a call. <coughs> I just need this call to stop coming through. Who is that? That's George. Yeah, that's me. We'll take it. All right, so answer that. You answered it? Everybody gone. <laughs> All right, we just, we, some kind of way we hung up on everybody, but we finna, we, we finna, uh. All right, hold on. Somebody call back. Go ahead. All right, caller, what's the name? Where you calling from? I just wanted to join the party with all this power sitting in the, in the studio, y'all. Like, y'all didn't like know how to call Dr. me. Dr. Phillips. Phillips. That's Dr. Phillips, man. <laughs> Dr. Phillips. Oh, 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 Mr. Burton got on there with you. Ain't, 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 even, ain't even thought to call me. Say, hey, man, I'm going on. Make sure you listen in. <laughs> absolute, absolute, absolute. Dr. Phillips, what it do? Absolute, absolute. Man, I What's tell good? you, man. I just, we, I we got a thousand calls the, um, coming. Talk to me. Yeah, I know you, man. Hey, listen, I want you to deal with one thing, and, and I think this is a very powerful um, uh, subject, and we don't like to think about it, but check this out. You know, after we get saved, right? Right. And we get holier than now, we have one problem that we always, you know, we, we never want to deal with, and this is the problem. We get saved, and we make a change, but nobody else can make that change. Mm. Why is it that we can change, but nobody else can? And, and, and so, the, so, the, so that the audience will have clarity uh, on what mm -hmm. Pastor Phillips is saying. How is it when you get saved, now you feel like can't nobody else clean up their act? Let's, let's say it like exactly. that. You, you cleaned exactly. up your act, but now you... Mm -hmm. You feel like can't nobody else clean up their act, and you harder on people trying to get to where you got to, but you wasn't there right. all the time. Right, but all you the time. Got there. And, 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 and one of the things that I always teach, and, and always when I'm preaching or teaching, is I'm or, or just standing around talking to the guys. I always my my favorite thing is to tell them as leaders, don't take casualties. Amen. Right. Don't Amen. don't take casualties because when you do that, when you pause don't your pause, to... pause, pause your um point, uh, Pastor. I just want to say you that are calling in right now, um, new creature is trying to store the calls, but we'll call you back if you don't mind. We're gonna call the numbers back. We're gonna answer the question, and then we're gonna call you back. But he, it froze up. We, he hung up, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, call you back. So no worries, you have not missed out. Go ahead, Pastor. Yeah, I just wanted to say that I, I, I think it's big that we don't take casualties. And, and sometimes we don't even realize we're taking casualties when we don't give people the benefit of the doubt. We'll watch people come into the church and we know where they've been. There's prostitutes, whoremongers, uh, robbers. They're all, they done done all kinds of things. But they're standing in the church now. And you're, you're wondering why. 
well, where else do you want them at? Right. And if you change, because you, because like you always said, there's each and every one of us that's sitting in the church was an ex something, but you made the change. Why can't nobody else do it? Absolutely. That's believe it. That's believe it. So I'm on my hang up and let y'all get on it. I, I just wanted, I, I just thought that was a, I thought that, that it, this is a, a teaching moment, is, is what, what we call it, a teaching moment. And so I, I, I think that's a question that a lot of people ask because that, uh, if you don't give people the opportunity, you push them out of the church. You Absolutely. have people come in on that. You come, they come on their knees. They come to, they come to, to make a change. They come to get help because when people are changing, it takes us to help them. Come Cause on. when you got, when you was changing, you, you had to have help, whether it was grandma praying or it was, or it was the mother in the church, uh, doing what she was doing or, or the deacons were doing what they, what, you didn't do it by yourself. Although you may think you have, Come on. you didn't do it by yourself. And and the thing is, is that we we take casualties when we do stuff like that. And I just want—I think that we should address that. I think that we should take the opportunity to make sure that people understand. Sometimes, just your uh, narrow thinking when you get into, especially when we get into uh, leadership, we get into leadership now. We we really act act like we we've, we've never done anything. And I'm, I'm one of them that's in leadership, but I'm, I'm always trying to let everybody know I, cause I preach about me. I don't preach to nobody. I don't preach to nobody about themselves. I preach about me and all the things that I've done. So if I can change, I know you can change, Amen. but we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want to do that a lot of times. We, 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 we want to be on this pedestal. We want to be up on, uh, we want, we're, we're, we're striving to be on this pedestal so people can look at us differently. But people look at you differently when you humble yourself as, as a man or a woman of God. Come on. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm let it low. I'm gonna let it go right there. Yo, you guys hey, enjoy me. I, I'm, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying just watching y'all. Hey man, thank you, Pastor Phil. Hey, because <laughs> technically, ain't, ain't really much. Bishop Burr making ad, but he, he he answered the question. If y'all was listening, he gave you the solution as well. He proposed the the question and and gave the solution. So if you was listening, you got it. However, you know, Bishop, you in the room? You want to uh, expound on that? How is it that you know once they clean up their act? You know they 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 feel like other people can't clean up there. And Pastor Phillips just done a wonderful job. Clap it up for Pastor Phillips one more time. God bless. We're gonna take another call, but hold up. Let All right, man. Y'all have a good night. Hey, thank you, Pastor Phillips. Stay stay with us. I know you ain't going nowhere. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you. On that part, I must. I see my wife said something that was good. Um, that goes along with uh, Dr. Phillips said. She said preaching deliverance but only believe it's possible for those they like. Let's read it again. I have no she said, pay much she said, preaching deliverance, but only believe it's possible for those they like. Mm, so, bias. Bias. So, favoritism. Come on, click, Lady Burton. Click, Come on. You, are my, you and my crew, you Clicks. die with me. Oh, so, they get a pass. But everybody else don't. Wow. But, you know, first of all, the, the crickets is here. Talk, Bishop. So, you know, I feel like this, that it was a process for us. You know, we didn't get it overnight. You know, like I said yesterday, if we was to sit here and give my story and your story and my background and your background, people would say, well, they didn't earn it. What, what gives them anything? We didn't wake up bishops. We didn't wake up pastors. We didn't wake Come up on. elders. Come on. We didn't wake up ministers. We've been in the street. We've done things in the street. We might not have been the nastiest out there, but it was a process. So we can't say, you know, oh, it was, it was a miserable life of sin because it wasn't. Because mm -hmm. if it was that miserable, it wouldn't have took you that long to come on this side. Come on, man. But, you know, the thing about it is once you come You on had to side, have some goodness. Had to. Grace was with us. We could have been killed. You could have been... When you was doing, you, I heard you say, you could have been shot. I could have died in them race cars, on them race bikes, you mm -hmm. know, doing foolish stuff. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, because we're here, that doesn't mean I'm on such a high mountain that I look down on you. Mm -hmm. That means that God has put me in a position to reach back and pull you out Hallelujah. of the valley. Hallelujah. You know what they say in the Marines? I believe it's the Navy SEALs. The Navy SEAL says, we leave no man behind. That's right. So as men, um, it doesn't matter what your what your issue is, we're here for you. You know, you have to be like, I think it goes back to what you said earlier. 
we first they have to first feel bishop that we're touchable right you know we can't put ourselves in a position where you got to go through 15 and five and six people. right i'm not that kind of person right you know listen you talk to my adjutant give them your no what if they, listen 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 we got people sitting in the church that's on suicide watch absolutely and we preaching over them because we preaching to the big tithers and the big offering givers but mm. you got the person that's giving all they got and all they want somebody to do is to reach out to them and give them that 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 same grace right that god gave us right give it to them right so they get that check but then they don't want you to bring them to the altar and then leave them right because you know where we come from Ooh, we stay there with you stand up with you <laughs> Listen, wow one for all, all for one. If you down there, I'm down there with you. True story. So, you know. Make the think, walk with you and everything. Listen, that's what they tell us. If you want to come to Christ, we'll come and walk to the altar with you. All right. All right. We got anybody still on hold? Call, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, this is Reggie. I'm sorry because I couldn't oh, hear y'all because my phone's acting up. Okay. What's your question? Yeah, well, I, I was about to say, how can well, well believe in yourself, and and you want to that uh, you got to believe. Well, um, Bishop Berta was preaching last night. You got to believe God. God's gonna work out with us, cause that's the cause. Like what Bishop Berta was preaching last night for men's conference. How you believe um to um the person, and you got to do um. And then it's got to keep our head up, the men up, stand up, and how to be the man of God, and to 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 get your blessings and and and, and focus your spirit, focus your strength, focus your health, focus your wealth, and focus your um person and focus your um positive and stay positive. You gotta stay connected to God. You know, someone said you gotta stay stay connected to God yeah, and get an to get, yeah. get connected. And stay connected and be responsible. Praise and how God. You do. Praise God, Reggie. You just gave the answer just gave it. and everything. <laughs> you, you, you. So you hey, let's clap it up, brother Reggie. You just gave us the answer and everything, man. So if, if if they was listening, they have the answer right there. How do you stay focused? How do you move forward in the Lord? You gotta keep your head up. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Uncle um, Bishop. Um, You're you welcome, man. You're welcome. We we love you, Reggie. So uh, you got the answer. Yeah, you right? got it. He said stand up. Stand up. Stay, stay focused. Up, stay focused. Believe God. And what else? Something else you said, Reggie. What else you said? Stand you up. You got to be men up, too. Go ahead. I'm sorry for cutting y'all. I said you got to be men up. So like, um. Man Yo, up. y'all be man up. Gotta man up. Yeah. All right. That's what I want to hear. Man up. <laughs> Not your neighbor. <laughs> say, Brother Reggie, say man up. Reggie, we love you, man. All right, we're going to take another call, man. God bless you. Bless it to you, Dad. All right, man. Love you. All right. Listen, hit Ledger back because she was calling, and we're going to deal with some of these on the screen. Bishop, pull some of that stuff. I'm going I'm to I'm take a quick break because we wanted to do that. I'm going to take a quick break, um, and then we're going to we hear Ledger. Yes. Okay, listen. We gonna, we gonna, I'm going to take a quick break, but ask your question. I'm going to come back in on it. Bishop is um, going to gonna probably be able to uh, talk up on it real quick, but I'll be right back. I got to step out for a minute. Uh, can I play a song and then come back and I'll be in on your question as well? Or just record the question and play it, and everybody can discuss it. We're gonna discuss it, yeah. But I, no, I want to. I want to hear you live. I want to hear. I want to hear it live, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play a song, and after the song, we're gonna come back. We're gonna ask a legend's question, and then we're gonna pull some stuff off the screen. That's cool. 
All right. Okay. Look, he gave me the energy because the enemy had me so late. Now, what? the moment that I hit a beat drop is like the Holy Spirit go crazy. Even through all of my lies, depression and anger, he still came through and he saved me. All he want me to do is just talk about it. Since I'm living, he already paid me crazy. I was too focused on what didn't matter, yet he was still with me the whole time. Untied every soul tie when I was in it. He made the soul rise. No more lies, ain't no more prize. Now that I'm alive, I know it's on the line. Used to hope to die because I know that I had made the same mistakes about 40 times. I'm forgiven. <laughs> and it's written. Yeah. So I don't even know what I'm worried about The enemy try to discourage my mouth The spirit within me keeps blocking it out And I know that God gon' keep working it out When I start overthinking it causes a doubt It confuses me about what I'm learning about It's lessons, gotta get through it to get to the blessings I'm done with the guessing, delivered from stressing Even obedient when I'm under pressure It's getting too easy when I'm getting tested The devil was using me, making a fool of me God, you've been patient with me, you've been true to me Need you to guide me, cause all this is new to me Help me get over the person I used to be And I finally listened And the Lord is a witness so let me get out of my feelings, cause now I'm forgiven. And he broke down all the layers, now I'm elevating up the stairs. I know that he heard all my prayers, cause I am forgiven. I stopped following all of the trends, then he started replacing my friends. Now I don't even remember my sins, cause I am forgiven. That's why it's so easy for me to be open. I gotta put them on notice, cause I don't even think they notice that I am Every forgiven. time I feel like I come up with a plan, the devil be plotting his motive too. Discussing with God on my weaknesses, but I just hate that the enemy know him too. I am not like all these other artists who be selling their music with no truth. Not just telling you about what I came from, but I be telling you about what I'm going through. I've been reading my Bible for clarity. I've just been seeking some answers. I'm searching, watching my parents divorce after 20 years. You can't tell me the devil not working, man, that really hurt me. I am affected by these generational curses. I guess that's a regular thing, but I'm not a regular person. No, I'm not perfect, but I'm going to change the industry. I'm about to set it on fire. Sending me in like I'm Jeremiah Sending me in but I'm not the Messiah Sending me in like I'm Moses They trying to play with God like we don't know this Isn't it obvious everyone knows it But if they don't then I'm here to expose it All of these lyrics he put on my brain Glory to God he been going insane All of the snakes that be trying to remain Just want to distract me with money and fame I used to get tempted but now I refrain I have now broken through all of the chains Ain't no one else in my lane I'ma have everyone saying the name Jesus And I finally listened and the Lord is a witness, so let me get out of my feelings, cause now I'm forgiven. And he broke down all the layers, now I'm elevating up the stairs. I know that he heard all my prayers, cause I am forgiven. I stopped following all of the trends, then he started replacing my friends. Now I don't even remember my sins, cause I am forgiven. That's why it's so easy for me to be open. I gotta put them on notice, cause I don't even think they notice that I am forgiven. God bless you all. Listen, it's Bishop Frank A. Lord II tuning in from HOLC Radio. Hey, I need y'all to follow me on Monday night, 7.30 p.m. sharp. We start playing good music from local artists and the artists that you grew up on and love so much. We're going to play that, and then by 8 o'clock, we kick off the conversation. And guess what? That conversation might be something that somebody else don't want to talk about, but on the Let's Be Frank show, God has given us the option to have the hard conversation and discuss things with the church at large so we can get to that next level. So make it your plan and make it your must to be in the audience via Facebook Live, HOLC Radio, Facebook Live, or you're going to tune in to the satellite radio, HOLC Radio Station. But whatever you do, join us 7.30 Monday nights for the Let's Be Frank Show. Hey, I'm just being frank. To Jesus Christ, I owe my life. Matter of fact, I said twice. Jesus Christ, I owe my life. Jesus Christ, I owe my life. I've been trying to switch it up. It ain't gonna happen overnight. It still got a few holes in sight. Trying to keep my focus right. I struggle, but I'm sure my source. Just to show how much he loves you, God will give you a choice. When I'm caught up in my struggle, hear the sound of his voice. All right, all right, all right. We back, we back, we back. Minister Legend, you still there? Minister Ledger. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. It's on you. Let's do this live. It's live and we promised people live in stereo tonight. So I couldn't record that. They want to hear your voice, love. So you got to come on through. Uh, thank God for, um, uh, I see Mama Pauline is on. She asked some good stuff. We're going to try to get to some of that. But um, 
Let's do it. I right, thank thank you, sweetheart, for loving the commercial. Let's do it. Minister Ledger, talk to us. Hi, good evening, uh Bishop Lloyd. Good evening, Bishop Burton. How are you? Bless you. Hanging in there. And uh either one of you can answer the question. I just want to start off by um addressing uh Bishop Lloyd, my pastor, my bishop, Bishop Lloyd. Um, I just want to say thank you to you, Bishop, for all the years that I've been with you, um, for everything I've learned from the moment, the first Sunday that I came to Hope Outreach Love Center, uh, your your preaching method, the word that you gave, your personality, everything about you and Overseer Lloyd resonated with me and allowed me to see things about myself and hopefully you see my growth just the same way I've seen you grow as Absolutely. a person, a preacher, and a pastor. And I want to thank you for that. Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. Uh, that merits a clap because we've seen, we seen your growth just like you've seen ours. So I thank you for that. We're humble. Talk to me. You're welcome. So over the years, of course, we've experienced a lot of things in ministry together. Um, as a pastor, what are some of your greatest joys in ministry? And what are some of your biggest mistakes? That's good. Either one of you can answer. That the question is not just directed to you, Bishop. Okay, we both going we both gonna answer. Ask it again so people can hear it clear before we 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 we, we answer it. That's a good one. That's so a my, good one. My question is because I, I am Hope Outreach Love Center to the bone. I have been at Hope since Raya was a hand baby. Couldn't Facts. walk or talk. Facts. And she's Period. 13 years old now. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Period. So Period. we have experienced a lot of things in ministry uh, in those 13, 12 and a half years that I've been there. Yes. For, for a leader, what are some of your greatest joys in ministry and what have been some of your biggest mistakes? My greatest joys uh, have been, and I'll bring it right to where we are, and if I can, you know, go off, I, I will go off the cliff, but from right where, right where we are, my greatest joy has been when people as yourself has walked into the ministry, don't know me from a can of paint, don't know my wife from a can of paint, uh, allow God to lead them to where they're supposed to, uh, be helped spiritually and be able to grow spiritually, and they stay, and we and and and, and they they experience exactly what they came to experience because no one joins a ministry to stay stagnant. You right. join a ministry for spiritual right. growth. You join a ministry to get help. You join a ministry to feel loved, and you join a ministry right. to become compatible with those who are walking and working out their soul salvation with fear and trembling, just like you. You join a ministry for people to understand that although you trying to get to where you're going, you got hang-ups, problems, and all you need is somebody to work with you, and you'll work with them. So my greatest joy is to have someone like a sister legend come in with a new baby, don't know me from nothing, and, and, and bring a family and, and say, hey, we want to hear what you got to say. If you're talking good, you got us. If you ain't, then if you ain't got no examples going on, we out. And to look back 13 years later or 13 years ahead and see that we still here and we was able to observe each other's growth coming in, sister, now minister, about to be something else that we ain't even finna put out there, but you know, teaching the Bible study, coming in, sitting in Bible study, then winding up teaching the Bible study, coming in, being a student of Sunday school, then turning out being a superintendent of Sunday school. That's my greatest joy because it means that what we're saying and doing is working and God is glorified. It, it, thank you, you know, for what was said concerning me, but I know you know, like I know, that without God, none of this is possible. So that's that's my, that's that's one of my greatest joys. Uh, another one is to just see the struggles that we had early on, and because you was thirteen years, we only seventeen years in. We celebrate our seventeenth uh, anniversary this year, 
but for the first four years, it was nasty. But when you came in, it was still a little nasty because we didn't get right until 10 years later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we were still getting pink slips and, you know, coming in and saying, look, y'all pray we're going to hit the lights, but they ain't coming on this week. You know what I'm saying? But, right. you know, we'll open up the bike door. You remember? You know what I'm saying? We, That's you know, right. let's have church in the back because they, 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 they ain't lining up right now. And, you know, me and the overseer, we tap. We can't, you know, we, it's what it is. And, and, and to see God bring us from that place to where we are now is just that, 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 those are my greatest, those are my greatest moments to look back over the ministry and see how far, far the Lord has brought us and to see some of the people that started out with us hanging in there and, and knowing that it ain't been all pieces and cream, but you had some solid people as uh, Bishop Burton talked about on the onset of this uh, show. He said, where are the people that can endure? Where are the people that can, you know, uh, get a, get, a, uh, get go through a chastisement and, and and stay there? You know, and and, 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 and and to your credit, you know, and to ours, you know, we've been able to weather all the storms. And, and, and I know Pastor Phillips is listening. Uh, so there you go, Pastor Phillips. We've been able uh, to weather all the storms and still end up together. We 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 making it. We right. we making this journey together. And and no, come what may, hell or high water, we have committed ourselves. We have de dedicated ourselves, and we're seeing the fruits of our labor now. That's my greatest point. My 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 some of my saddest lowest points is to be misunderstood. Is to have people again <laughs> coming to the ministry. Don't know you from a can of paint, but get to know you and find out that you have the heart of a servant. Find out that you have the compassion of a pastor and then take that 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 same heart and misuse it and abuse it. Love you as long as you can pay their lights. Wow. Love you as long as you got something on their rent. Love you as long as you can do things for them. But in the struggle... They can't seem to love you, or if you, you uh, or not even, not even loving you in the struggle, to have the immediating gall and audacity to allow somebody outside, as Bishop said earlier, get into their ear and convince them that they should be somewhere else other than the place that done paid their rent and gave them light money and done toughed it out through their hard time, been over their house and all, but then got in the end told them that they have a greater anointing and because you have not allowed them to become the prophet of your church or the, oh, the, no. the evangelist of your church, and I'm talking about the chief evangelist because you, you can give them an evangelistic uh, position because evangelists really don't need no or ordination to be an evangelist. That's witnessing. The ordained evangelists are the ones who witness and do and do other things. But just typically evangelizing, every one of us that walk in here ought to be an evangelist. So I ain't gotta call you that. You should know that you that. Right. But you'll take you'll take the love and kindness for a weakness and you'll walk away. Leave us for dead and Ooh. go somewhere else. Because somebody done told you that you got a little more than that half anointing that you have. <laughs> Instead of staying and being nurtured, because we ironically see the call on your life. God will not have us right. ignorant. So it, instead of properly allowing it to be nurtured, because real leaders don't want to smother nobody anointed because you're doing an injustice to yourself. I need all the help I can get. So I need everybody that's got a call on their life to preach, to reach, to teach, to stand up and be who you are. So me and overseer can sit at the house and say, Minister Legend got that. Elder Stewart got that. Deke got that. No, baby, we ain't got to go tonight. We can chill and get some rest. And, and everybody be relaxed and everybody be good and rested because all hands on deck and no man is being an island by themselves. So what hurts, uh, Minister, as you ask, is when people come in and, and misuse and abuse your kindness and your compassion and then walk away and go as far as lying on you. It hurts me to be lied on. It hurts me to have done everything that I've done and have people walk away just because they didn't they didn't want to line up. Because we're going to line up over here. We ain't perfect, but we lining up. 
we doing what we we doing what we, we we trying to do. And when people feel like uh they ain't got to do all that and you this, that, and the third, and you and they know you're not like that, or get angry because you call them to the carpet on a certain thing and get missing, right. that hurts. That hurts. Cause I, I was good while you was using me. I was good for you to be able to use me, but I ain't good enough to correct you. I got a problem with that. So that's that's the hurt for me. I'll I'll yield my space for um for Bishop Burton. Bishop, talk to her. <clears throat> um, I think okay. Let, I think she started with some of the some of the I think some of the joys was um I'll go back to early early pastoring uh, was being excited to uh, be elevated to a pastor when my mom's was living and she was mm. able to see that the Lord hands was on me. Um, and as Bishop had said, uh, I didn't veer from the path that was before me. Um, whatever was said then, that's what I said. You know, if she said no, I didn't say yes. Um, but then in that same sentence, I think a regret that I've even discussed with my wife is that as early I was in pastor and bishop, I didn't have a support system. Mm-hmm. And when I say support system, I'm not talking about the inside. I'm talking about like how a Bishop Lloyd or Pastor Bryant or mm-hmm. Pastor Alexander mm-hmm. or, or, or solid people who's been this way that would see you making mistakes and would step in and give you a detour and say, don't go that way, because at the end of this street, there's no lights. At the end of this street, there's mm-hmm. no no life. And uh, 14 years, I did that, and I was passing from the seat, like from the from the pockets of my pants. Like, gotcha. And 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 that that's mm. perfect. I could be transparent. How you said, you know, there was there was something placed before me, but because I saw it somewhere else, mm-hmm. I said that might work for me because it's working for them. Mm. But if I knew mm. then what I know now, mm. what I thought right. was going to work, all mm. it did was hurt me. Mm. So 14 mm. years, um, Minister Ledger, I did it and moved, closed up the church. And we opened another church and then I came right. here. Um, so let's say past, uh, Bishop say 17. So I had 14. And then I did maybe like six months in plantation. Mm-hmm. And now we start again. So I'm like right in Bishop's right. back door. Amen. Um, Amen. But the joy, I, I take, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, Minister Ledger, because all mm-hmm. mistakes is a learning curve. Mm-hmm. And I say that because um, I've seen people come in, and I agree with Bishop, they come in, they get attached to you. And you 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 pour in them, you know mm-hmm. you right there with them, ride or die. You know when they calling you two and three o'clock in the morning. Come right on, there. Bishop. But then you know you got that person down the street, you know, because they got a little bit better holler or they got a little bit more music, and 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 whatever they offer them, they leave. So I think mm-hmm. it took me, and mm-hmm. I can be mm-hmm. I can be transparent. I know uh, Dr. Phillips and all of them is watching. A uh, transparent moment as a pastor is when you allow somebody to get close to you. We talk about adjutants and we talk about those who help us, but we don't never talk about the sheep bites that we get from the adjutants. When I see, because when you look at a, when you look at a shepherd's hands, a mm. real shepherd's hands is rough, and if you look good enough, you'll see bite marks. Because mm. sheep don't make noise, but they bite. So if you look mm. at Bishop's arms, if you look at him, he's been bit a lot. Mm. And then Minister Ledger sometimes, and I'm just saying it to you because I don't want nobody to think I'm talking about them. But when people bite you, we still have to get up and pray. We still have to get up and preach. Right. We still have to get up right. and prophesy. And we are preaching from a wounded position. My God. We're ministering right. from a, a place that we feel how am i gonna heal i'm preaching prosperity and health and 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 good tidings to somebody else and right now i don't want to be bothered with nobody but i gotta put a smile on my face Mm, i gotta mm, make it mm. i gotta make it that the people don't know that i've been wounded by leadership 
people that I trusted have crossed the line and hurt me and lied to me. So when we seek to see what makes me and Bishop and those who've been around a while, you know, know what makes us? It's called history. We, we've been in it, so we see it. We smell it. So the joy of it is like now starting a new ministry. I have a wonderful wife. When I say wonderful, um, uh, I say wonderful. I say wonderful because there's times where we as leaders hang our heads and we ain't in the mic. And we don't know how we're going to make it go to the left. You know what, you know what she'll say? It's going to work. And then the Lord, the Lord sends you people who get in the ditch with you. Come on. You digging, we digging. Because you know why? When we build this foundation, I'm not coming after it's built. I'm here with you building it, which is like yourself, Minister Legend. So um, the joy is to see people like yourself come into ministry. I have new, new people coming to the tabernacle, and they said from the door, and they was honest, they said, long as you don't hurt me or my family, we here to the bitter uh, end. So right. you got to keep it 100 or 1,000, as Bishop was saying. We can't be out here faking it and trying to prove points, but we got sheep bites. Absolutely. So sheep bites keep your head on straight. And there's days, Minister Ledgers, where, 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 where encouraging words, like you just said to Bishop, will make a leader go another 20 years. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine if we had... It. That's gas. We, listen, we don't need 10 minister legends. Just give us two more minister legends. Woo! Give us two more elder stewards. Give us two more whoever. If we can duplicate it, and that's not taken away from nobody who's a part of a, a congregation or a ministry. You have to be in it to win it. Come on. You can't get in there... And because the pastor having a rough spell, you bail out. Come oh, on. let me go. Let me go right. to the church around the corner because the praise team sound good. But the praise team, right. the praise team ain't praying. They right. can't take you somewhere they ain't been. Right. right, right. The musicians don't pray. They, 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 they vaping it up. Cause, 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 ironically, ironically, a lot of people they don't want deliverance. They want to be entertained. Right. They don't want. They don't want. They don't want a word that's gonna challenge them. They want a word that's gonna tickle their ear, where they can lead the service, saying, "My God, right. he preached today." But if I really preach today, you ought to be asking yourself some questions. If I really preach today, you ought to be considering your ways. Right. You ought right. not be leaving here talking about I <laughs> preached and on the way to do your same identical thing. And even if you do fall short, cause we fall down, we get up, I get it. But even if you do, at least if you're hearing a good word, you're, you're consciously thinking about what you're doing now. You ain't just loosely doing it like you was. That's good preaching. Preaching that call you to the carpet in your own mindset. Right. Everybody ain't got to know what you're doing, but you know what you're right. doing. And when you hear a right. solid word, you say to yourself, you know what? I got to do better. Yeah. You might not right. announce it, but you leave that service saying, wow, that boy, I really for, got that to was do for better. Me. That was for me. That was for me. Right, right. there. That high boy, woo, woo. <laughs> you see? And so that, that, and, and, and people don't want that. They want to be able to just say you preach, and when you say, what he preach about? I don't know, but ooh, he who? Ooh, he hollered at. Ooh, he so shouted that, good. So that mean they didn't, get the, they didn't get the meat and the grits. Not a thing. Not a thing. And so because we refuse to entertain, then, you know, we, we, we suffer these uh, sheep bites. But I'm going I'm to I'm roll with hay. Hay say sheep don't bite, so that means they done converted over to goats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, 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 so all you goats out there. <laughs> and goats eat anywhere. That, and goats eat anywhere. So, you know what I'm saying? So you, <laughs> that came in in sheep clothing, and now you taking a chunk out of Bishop and myself. We recognize you, you goat in sheep clothing. We recognize you. <laughs> Minister you Legend, that was a great, yes. great, yes. great, great yes. question. Thank you. Always look forward to you chiming in, tuning in. Again, I see Mama Pauline on all the way from Georgia. What part of Georgia <laughs> um, Mama Pauline in? We got another Bon Air. What is it called? 
Bon Air, Bon Air. Bon Air, Bon Air. Bon Air, Georgia? Yes. We got Bon Air, Georgia, reaching all the way over to Lovejoy, Georgia. And we got a Georgia <laughs> collabo going on collabo. Uh, in here tonight. Can we clap it up for Georgia? <laughs> they big. Lady B said, yes, they want entertainment. That's what they want. And this, we, we got to keep it a rack. We can't, we can't, if you get some entertainment out of it, thank God for it. Bishop know how to hoop, but Bishop got some word. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So it, it's all right when you got some word on. I don't mind you hooping. But as long as bread. you hooping a word, yes, feed sir. me. Yes, sir. And people ain't looking for that. Minister Legend, we going to let you go, all right? But we love you, we okay. thank you, and we're gonna love probably you. take some more calls. We got some questions that's been posted that we're gonna have. You can you when, when I said let me go, you can doc, doc Bishop, them out. Uh, yes, sir. Javaris got one. That's the one. That's the one I want to deal with. Read being it. being that you both call hold on, we're reading the question. Hold on, we got you. Go being ahead. that both of you have family that worship with you, my question is my question is, is it is it hard pastoring biological family? And also have to separate being head of the household and then have to put on the hat as leader of the church with those same individuals. Two! Javaris. Two! Javaris. my hat on Why well, you something else? We got to do it, though. We said we, we hey. We, we, right we had there. already said it. We said we open books tonight. So you got me and Bishop on the spot on the SPOT. <laughs> But we here. You called us there. We're here. All right. So we're gonna deal with that. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? This is Sister Carolyn from Lauder Hill. Sister Carolyn from Lauder Hill. Let's get your question in the in the box, and we're gonna deal with both of these. We're gonna deal with Javaris and yours. What you what say, Sister Carolyn? I'm clapping up, for Sister Carolyn. Sister Carolyn gave me that birthday gift on the on best of. She made them frames that you saw. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is nice. her. This is the like creative that. woman right here. Okay. Talk to me, Sister Callan. Okay, I'm going to see if I can explain this the best way possible. I guess part of the question is, why are, why are Christian people, I'm going to say, why are people so judgmental uh, at the fact that if you have a sister in Christ and you're trying to support that sister in Christ, Although you know they struggle with the same sex as their partner, but you're trying to lead them and encourage them to be, you know, to walk with God. Mm -hmm. Why are people so judgmental to feel that you're that way when you're just trying to be supportive of that person leading them to Christ? That's good. That's good. Okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna chop that up uh, for you. Huh? Absolutely, yes. Muted. Okay. We are gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chop that up and let me let me let me let me repeat it back to you so we'll know that we're referring to um the right uh question. Why is it that if you have a sister in Christ and uh the, let's just say two sisters in Christ and one is trying to help the other to you know to, to get through uh, a challenging moment um situation where they struggling with same sex relationship and, and and you're trying to help them and but but because of you trying to help them not people write you in as being the same and begin to judge both of y'all as as being right such. gotcha got gotcha. absolutely gotcha we're gonna deal with that you got that question on lock New creature. All right. So first things first. Thank you. We clapping up for Callie Callen. Stick around because we finna deal with that. All right. I ain't gonna hold you on the phone, but stick around. We're gonna answer that okay. for you. Okay. All right, baby. <laughs> Callen Thomas, that's a whole uh product protege. We thank God for her. She made me a lovely gift and I love it. She made me two of them and I love them. Thank you for doing that for Father's Day. God bless you. All right, brother Job Virus first. Man. Woo! Being that you both, the both of you have family that worship with you, talking to me and Bishop Burton, Javar's question say, is it hard pastoring biological family and also have to separate being head of household 
and then have to put on the hats as the leader of the church with those same individuals. Bishop, go. <laughs> <laughs> Told me clean in the funnest. Well, take but, off, Brother dog. Javaris. Let me put it to you like this. Um, it could be. It could be hard. But I believe when you balance yourself, I'm going to say balance. You got to have a balance. Um, you can't come in your home when you say biological. Uh, you can't come in the home and wear the hat of the bishop all the time. Because I'm the bishop. I'm the husband. I'm the father. I'm the provider. Um, I think if they respect you, first of all, in your calling, they know you're a pastor, they know your role. See, what makes it hard is, and you correct me, Bishop, if I'm wrong, I think what causes the biological to look at you different is if they see you do other than what you do in the pulpit. If you get in the pulpit and you preaching one thing and you home doing something else, it's going to always cause friction between the house and the church. How can I follow you? And, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. Oh. My wife said from day one, she said, if you can't live what you preaching, I can't follow you. You can't preach one thing to the people and come home and live a whole different life. I'm just being frank. <laughs> That's just being straight up hypocritical. So, what? And, and, and again, that gives us balance because they see us in front of the people and then they see us behind the scene. So you have to know how to balance. If I'm saying this right, Bishop, mm -hmm. or Dr. Phillips, you have to know when to pick your battles. You have to know what to put on the plate and what to take off the plate. You cannot uh, interject bio biological family on every matter. Come on. Every church matter is not a biological matter because they don't have the same grace on your life or the same oil on your life to deal with it. Of course, they're going to always be protectors for us, our wives, our sons, our daughters. But the grace we have is different than what the biological family are. Yes, Javaris, it can be hard, but I think as long as you're doing what you, if you live what you preach and preach what you live, your family will be your biggest support. Amen. 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 I hope I kind of answered that, you know, because we live in that. We right, live that. Right. And now, 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 let me let me put this out here since you you y'all put me and Bishop out here. If you want to break up a happy home, if you want to break up a marriage, if you want to break up relationship between your kids. You don't give them time because they need time too. They need attention too. Again, that's balance. And what I like about that is me and Bishop, we love to preach. We love to pray, but we love to ride jet skis. We love to go to the beach. We love to go to dinner. Um, yes. We love to go um, 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 to sit and just li listen. If we don't leave the house, we love to sit there and watch a movie with our family. You want to know why? Because they need our time too. They don't want, because we always give our time to the church. The family needs time too. They have things they need to vent. Sons need to talk to their fathers. Daughters need to be able to conversate with their fathers. So I, I still stick with what I say. And let me say this. I'm going to say this because I can be transparent. I got Bishop. My wife is on. Right now, um, me and my sons and my daughters are in an unbalanced place. And I can be open, and it's not because of nobody's fault but my own. You know, when children get grown, you can't deal with them like they babies. Right. You don't disrespect them, and you don't want them to disrespect you. There has to come a time where everybody can come to the table Everybody can voice what they need to say. Right. You voice what you need to say. But at the end of that conversation, we still got to have respect for one another. Sure. I love you as my son. I love you as my daughter. And church will never be an, an, uh, a, a wall between family and father. Family and mother and father. So you have to have an open 
communicate. You have to be able to communicate with your biological, especially if they're in ministry. Um, do you do you lighten up on them even the more? No. Do you put the wood to them even the more? No. You know, they're members, even though they're just like my wife. My wife is my wife. She's Lady B. She's the first lady. But by right, she's still a member. So you can't show preference. You say it like that. You can't show preference, but you still have to be respectable. So I hope uh, Javaris is my part. I hope I answered that um, in the best way I could and in the best open way that I could. Hey Amen. I think you did. I think you did an excellent job. Uh, my stance is, you say, is it hard uh, pastoring your biologicals uh, and your family? Uh, I would say yes. I would say yes, it is. It's very hard um, for more than one reason. Uh, mainly, the main reason it's hard because people um, expect you, because they're your kids, mm -hmm. because it's your family, then they they don't expect them to do what they kids and they family do. So it, yeah, it's hard as hell, you know, um, because you have people, you know, that are critique and talk about what your kids did one time, what they kids do all the time. It's very hard um, to have people uh, think that because um, they're your kids and Bishop hit it, especially when they're grown, you got a handle on it, you know, coming up. You, you, you know, while they're in your house, yeah, you can kind of control the narrative why they're, why they're at any point of them living with you. Once they get out and get their own, um, you know, house, apartment, start doing their own stuff, you kind of got to, like Bishop say, you got to respect the lane. They know. They know how they were brought up. They know what's been in, in, in part of them. That's why I stand on that word. Train them up right. in the way they should go. They don't go it. It ain't your fault. But train them in the way that they should go. And when they get older, they won't depart from it. What that means is no matter what route they take, if you plant that seed deep enough, it's going to spring up like living water. Even in the other route, they're going to still hear that voice. They're still going to know that teaching. They're still going to know that pattern. You know what I'm saying? Because we're, we're, we're creatures of habit. We return back to the same thing. That's why sin. That's why I, I, the, 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 the pleasurable sins. That's why we struggle with it. We're creatures of habit. We love to go back to what we know. We're comfortable with what we know. So... Um, yeah, it's hard because people expect more from, from your kids than they expect from their own kids. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's hard because if you save coming to church, listening to me and your kids raising hell and doing all out there, well, we eat from the same table. Why you feel like my kids can't be out there raising hell or dumb. Why something got to be wrong with me? Because my kids acting a donkey. But you say Sister Smoking Dice and Brother Perfect, you save, and but your kids out there acting a donkey. But that but that ain't but it don't that's not applicable to you. It's only applicable to pastor pastors and the first ladies. No, I disagree. So it's hard. Yes. It's hard from right there, you know. And, and, and on the other side of that coin, it is hard when you want and expect a lot from your biologicals, but because they have reached adulthood and they are free to make their choice. And if you parenting right, you're going to let them make them choices. You know what I'm saying? Rather you agree or disagree, what you don't do is throw the baby out with the bath water. So it does not matter. when my If my biologicals go contrary, and I'm talking about 100%, I still got to be their daddy. Absolutely. So that's going to be hard to know what I know, live what I live, practice what I preach, and they contrary. That's hard because you want your kids to know that ain't nobody in this world going to love them more than you love them. I wouldn't give a... Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I got to... Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't give a dog on 
who they meet and how much they strum through their hair and rub their back and bust their bumps and clip their toenails. The, the, the husband don't love you more than me. The Negro don't love you more than me. That's just bottom line. I'm not calling my new creature and he got a woman, so I can't call my <laughs> daughter-in-law a husband. But, you know, so I'm not talking about my right. people, people. But the female and the the females that get with my sons, you can't love them more than me. And we ain't got nothing funny going on, but it's just impossible. You have been knowing them for the duration of the time that you met them. I've been, I've been knowing them life. all their life. It's impossible for you to catch up to my love. It don't work like that. The brother that loves my daughter, you can't, you can't love her more than me. It's impossible. Don't even try. Stay in your lane. Love him as a mate. You can't love him as a parent. Right. And so it don't, it don't even, it don't even roll and roll and flow like that. And so, and you know, it's hard, but at least they get a pass. Because all parents, if you're like me, you don't want your kids to love nobody more than they love you. Absolutely. Facts. Parents. I got four strong boys. I don't want them to love nobody more than they love me. And they got chicks. But I don't want them loving them more than they love I'm pop. Right. But I got to respect the game. The Bible say... A man should leave his mom and daddy cleave. and cleave to his wife. So I got to respect that. Mamas, y'all want to turn us off right now. But you got to respect that. Your son, I'm for, we, the number finna go down. Watch what I tell you. <laughs> Your son, either they're going to go down or they're going to start coming in here saying some nasty stuff. <laughs> Your son has a certifiable right not to disrespect you, not to lose his love for you, but he has a certifiable right to cleave to his wife Absolutely. and change the dynamics of what you thought you control and run. Now, I... Tricky. I know mama's mad, but I, it, it is what it is. You know, I know you love your son, and I get it. I Trust me, I get it. As a dad, I love my kid. I'm telling you, I love my kid. So, um, but bottom line, bottom line, see, Jesus, help me. <laughs> bottom line. You already know who that is. <laughs> bottom line. So, uh. I want, so, 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 my, my, so, yeah, it, it's hard, Javar. It's hard. Because, um. You know, you, you you do, and your kids. You know, some my kids they thought I was um, much harder on them, and I had explained to them it's not that I'm much harder on y'all. Y'all just got to deal with me twice. Right. The people at the church just got to deal with me one time. So it seems harder, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? You got to get my 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 my, my chastening at the church, and then if you do anything wrong at the house, you, so it seems consistent. Seem like I'm always on you. Whereas the church people, they get a break. You know, when they ain't with me, they ain't doing their thing, and they just got to deal with me at the church. But when you my family, it, you 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 got to deal with me all the time. So it seems hard. I, but I want to offer to you uh, PKs out there now. It's not harder. It's just that you're dealing with them more than the church. So cut your parents some slack. So yeah, 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 Javaris, it is. And, and then like Bishop said as well, it, it, it can also be harder because at the church, you know, you don't want to, you don't want want any of your flaws. You know, you want people to get your ministry and your word, not your vices. You don't want people to walk away from the church, uh, you know, uh, being controlled or being uh, subdued by your vices. Right. You want them to get your virtue and your, you, you know, everything that God has given you, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? However, your kids and your wife, you know, they get your virtue. And all that's good at the church, but then because they're again living with you, they they get and biologically some vices are tr generationally transferred. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying it's real in the field, you know. So that that was a great question, man, and I hope that me and Bishop answered, uh, answered it uh, uh, wonderfully. 
uh, for you. You know, you, you you got it. And there were some other people that also, you have to read the comments because some people um, uh, answered, answered too. They weighed in on it. So, yes. and they said some good stuff. So you can, um, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can chime in on that. Uh, uh, but that, yeah, yeah. So that, that's, that's what, that's, that's what's up. And great, 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 great question. There was some more too. Um, young lady. Huh? Right. Oh, so the Carolyn's question. We got to deal with that. So Carolyn saying, I want to, I'm going to summarize it. But since the Carolyn said, um, how can you, you know, why is the church judgmental of the sister that's helping the sister come through a, 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 a struggle mm -hmm. that, 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 that's dealing with homosexuality and this sister is trying to love her through it, but the church is critical for that sister. And then they, now they, you know, want to say that the sister that's providing the help is a, part, yeah. is a part of it. Oh, she must be gay too. If she trying, if she rolling with, the, you know, you know she gay. And if she over there with her all the time she like that, and all the way right, so you, you can't tell me she ain't gay too. Cause birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, that's the world's term. Yeah, that's the world's vision. But the church got to understand and see, you know what I'm saying, that uh, Jesus Christ wasn't no sinner, but he had, he had dinner with a sinner. <laughs> Nudge your neighbor and say it's time to have dinner with a sinner. Dinner with a sinner. <laughs> you know he 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 wasn't all caught up in the 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 the, 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 the uh the, the corruption of the taxpayers, but he went by Levi House. <laughs> Y'all ain't gotta say amen. Say you know? nothing. Yeah, you, you know. So uh uh he he was at he was at the wedding. You know what I'm saying? He ain't drank it, but he turned it into it. You know what I'm saying? So it got to be all right. You know what I'm saying? He was at the well, too. He, he was at the well. You know what I'm saying? Talking to somebody on white. Y'all ain't liking this. You got <laughs> preachers in here tonight. Stop it, I say. You know what I'm I saying? I say, stop so it. So she is saying how the church can be so critical. Is this system? Is Mia, Mia Phillips? She said because they pick and choose which sin is forgivable as if they are God himself. Wow. And that's a problem. That's a problem, because in God's eyesight, sin is sin, and I know we got people preaching that it's levels, and it probably, you know what I'm saying, but I ain't gonna, I'm not going to buy into that one, because the, to even buy into that concept, be it true or not, I won't even deal with if it's true or not, but if it be it true or not, I don't want that in my spirit, because I don't ever want to minimize my wrong and compare it to somebody else's wrong. If we both wrong, and we can see it both as being wrong, then there's a balanced help that Bishop talked about. We can both get help, and I can I can, I can, can max out the, 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 the support that comes my way without minimizing the saying, no, I don't need that. You know how a drug I say, oh, I don't gotta go to no rehab. Right. I just say, you know, just give me a couple of days. You know, I don't wanna, no, no, Negro, you, you strung out. <laughs> you ain't you. Oh, y'all sat to the house. Y'all, yeah. Oh, you, yeah, you, you was gambling. You stopped. But all that stuff. It, it's, it, it's, 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 the, it, it's on you. So we're not going to, we're not going to categorize it. Let's just leave sin to sin. Right. We ain't going to categorize it. And I think that cat categorize it. And I think that when we um don't process it and categorize it then we can be a little more compassion mm -hmm. and, 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 and understand that this sister is doing her reasonable service. Because ironically, you got to develop. E, e taught us this, and I got my evangelist who went through the courses of EE e training. It's friendship over fellowship. All day. How you want me to fellowship with you and I can't even be in friendship with you? I got to be comfortable with you if I want to sit on the road with you. How you going to invite me to the church and you don't even like me? Right. How you going to tell me, come see what your pastor got to say, but you looking down your nose talking about some with a gay self. Oh, you need to come here, Bishop Lord, because he preached about. Don't have the people mad at me before they even meet me. And, and, and y'all, we good at church folk. We good at that. We good at that, having the people mad at the pastor before they even meet the pastor. Women, y'all sure have your husbands disliking us before they even meet us. If they don't come to church, which a lot of you, not all of you, but a lot of you have your, your husband mad with us. 
and before they even meet us, because you going home talking about what Bishop Burton said, <laughs> what Bishop don't Lord tell the whole said. Story. And don't no man want another man running this house. So they already mad at us before they even meet us. They ain't never coming. Stop talking about they won't. They ain't coming because you keep using us against them. They feel like we the threat. We the enemy. We the competition. Stop it. But back to Carolyn. Carolyn, why they do it? Because just like Mia said, they 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 won't read read. You got Mia comment again. They 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 pick and choose, baby. But I want to say it how she said it. They pick and choose. They pick and choose. What sin is forgivable? And what's not? As though they God. And so right. and so and and, and 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 that's something that they ought not be doing. All right, we froze. Are we good? Huh? And then too, Bishop, you know, they have to understand that we're not We ain't moving on this screen. Okay, no, I'm saying, I'm just letting you know. Um, we have to understand, we're not under the person, we're after that spirit. Right. So we have to make, we have to get the people, as you said, to feel comfortable with us. Correct. You know? And then once we get them comfortable, let them know this is not personal with this. It's what's dwelling in you that we coming after. Correct. You know, and I mean, how many times have you heard when you was coming up, they would say, oh, well, you know, don't let that operate over here. They're not saying the person, they're saying that spirit. Because mm -hmm. it can become cantankerous, I believe that's the word they use. That's right. It can transfer. That's right. All so, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that um, instead of beating them up. And Taylor said froze up, I guess, on their end. Because it's it is yeah, it's froze over here. On here. But I mean, we I mean he said he sees good over there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. You moving over there? On your screen? I don't know if this big one yeah. throws. It's moving, oh, yeah, but it keep it yeah. keep up like it's buffering. Uh but as long as y'all can hear us uh loud and clear out there, just let us know. Um by saying that we can hear you loud and clear. Okay, okay, it's by okay. Yeah, I see it so on my phone I can see us moving. Okay, great. Pastor Harris said so 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 no, I don't wanna I don't wanna rush through that one because I know she uh, she wants clarity on that. We the, the church shouldn't, uh, Sister Callan. They shouldn't because truth truth be told, truth be told, and we can put them on hold. Truth be told is that when you understand that we're all working out our soul, soul salvation with fear and trembling, um, homosexuality is a struggle. Can you mute them? Okay. Like with the ear, the, the blue thing. Hello? Yeah, hold on, hold on, caller. Okay. All right. So um so the, so so what you can't do um is categorize it. You know what I mean? You 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 um they they're working they're working through their struggle like you're working through your struggle. Theirs is homosexuality, but yours is adultery. Right. There's this homosexuality, but yours is fornication. You're a gossip. And when you and when you read the book, none of those shall inherit the kingdom. So for you to think that, you know, the homosexuality is is greater than the fornicating and adultery and all the other stuff that the heterosexuals operate in, the straight folk, and I, I'm just using that term lightly, because I don't think you're crooked, you know what I'm saying? If you if you're gay or homosexual, I just think you you got to struggle that you got to get through. Cause I do believe the Bible, you know what I'm saying. But I, I love you. It's not you, you, nobody should hate a person for their sexual preference. You know what I'm saying. But you can give and offer your advice and your support. And even if they shut it down, I don't think you have to defriend them. I think you just gotta love them. In the capacity Absolutely. that they, you know, wanna wanna in, in, engage in, you know, you don't you don't you don't have to uh, get rid of them, you know what I'm saying? You keep living and modeling and praying for them, and if if deliverance is their portion, then the fervent prayers of the righteous avail as much. So you ain't even got to talk about it when you go around them all the time. You ain't got to ask them every right. time you come around. You straight yet? You 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 you, you, you thinking about me and now? You, you, it'll be so good. Ooh, I can't, I just wish you would get with a man. Or for the brothers, you know, bro, you don't know what you're missing, man. You got to really just, just, just try to date a woman. You, they, you, they, they don't want to hear that. 
They already in a struggle. They don't want to hear that. So you can support. You know what you own. You know what they own. And you pray about it. If that's their portion to be delivered or if they feel like they need to be delivered, then deliverance will come. Because if they don't feel like they need to be delivered, they're not going to anyway. And I, how does that change you? How does that change the church? So you don't have, you don't, I don't, you don't even have a right to, to, to defriend them, dislike them, hate on them. You're supposed to love everybody anyway, bottom line. And so to answer your question, Carolyn, they shouldn't be putting you in the cap. That, 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 that's, that's bad. And I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't collectively throw the whole church in there, but the people that do that, that's a bad portion of the body. That would that would say that because you're trying to help somebody, you must be like them. They don't they don't understand what help is all about. So no need for you to worry about that, and you pray for them, you know, and and, and try to you know try to uh, try to push past that. Uh, Tiffany John say uh, sometimes you have to meet people right where they are. I would go further and say all the time right. you got to meet them uh, where they at. You know what I'm saying? Pastor Harris, Pastor Harris said, I want, he got a yeah. question too. Go ahead. Okay, he said, we unfortunately have become guilty of knowing and executing the law of God, but not the love of but God. But not the love of God. Yes. That's got to be a preacher, man. Yeah. That's got to be a preacher. Tampa. Tampa in the house, y'all. Tampa in the building. Wow, Pastor, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We want to do, we want to push that law. Want to be fluent in the law, ain't that something? But, but ain't got nothing love. on that love. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> now he just deflated a lot yeah, of people he right now. You, you just, you just, love, you just, who you mash the toes. Our numbers drop too, brother. Look, just a pastor. <laughs> yeah, our numbers drop with that one. But that's good. That's what we need right there. We want to make changes. Got the law. <laughs> But where the love? Where the love? Got the, that's a song, new creature. Got the love, but where the love? Got the law. He, he gonna do something with it. Trust yeah, me. He'll tighten you're, that up. Oh, you gonna put he gonna something have on that? Oh. Bank, bank head oh, bouncer next week. Got the love, but where the love? Yep. All right. Um, and then we out of call. I'm sorry. They hung up. They still on? Man, shoot. Talk to me, caller. I don't have a question, Bishop. What I do have a visit to Elder Hayes. Elder Hayes. You look at his name. He's an anniversary listener. Talk to me, Elder. <laughs> what? Uh, I believe the original question was, what do you say to people that judge you when you do it, when you try to help people out? My answer to that question is absolutely nothing. You got to say nothing to them. Dang you do your assignment and let them, and let them talk. Come so on. that's the end of that right there. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Absolutely nothing. You don't even have to address it. My mama say don't even dignify it with a response. They all know exactly. that it was ignorant and it was stupid to act like that. Don't do nothing. Don't Elder Hayes, y'all. Elder Hayes. Thank you, thank you. That's good input. All right. Let's see. Especially when a good amount of homosexual... Do not feel comfortable Phillips. with the opposite gender because of past trauma. That's a different conversation, but many people are yeah, insensitive, insensitive to that around that subject. You have to help them heal in that area. Sound like a doctor to me. I'm trying she to tell you. She got the paperwork. Yeah, absolutely, man. You already know what it is. What Can't wait. Santana said the church needs to start running people. need to stop. I think he might have yeah. The church needs to stop running people from the church. He said, if I be lifted up, he'll do the drawing. But how can he do the drawing when us, the saints, are trying to do it? See? That's a tabernacle See? kid. Then. Come on. Come on. Tab in the house. Santana, we appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stop running folk away. When God trying to lead them in, then you complain about ain't nobody at your church, but you running them away. Running them out. And leaders, let me say this. Stop allowing them to run them away. Reach out and ask them what's going on. If they willing to tell you, 
then you got to let them know, say, listen, I understand. I'm, I'm finna give you just how you say it. You see that person in the grocery store or whatever, you say, well, where you been? You ain't been? I thought of you there. Oh, well, you're so spooking dice. Um, you know, she, every time I come, she make me feel funny. You know, and then I heard some stuff she said and yada, yada, yada. You stop them in that conversation, you say, sweetheart, let me, let me explain something. Let me explain something to you. So Spook and Dice done been there for, for many years. We can write her name on her seat. She ain't going nowhere. Oh, well. So Spook and Dice feel threatened when new people come in. She want to do everything by herself. We wind up all, most time doing nothing. But we got to work with Sister Spook and Dice. The Lord has sent her our way, and we understand that he give you pastors after your own heart. And so we just believe that she there because there's something that we got for her. Now, she's not getting it. But we can't throw the baby out with the bad water. So Sister Spook and Dice is going to be there. What I need you to do is stop allowing Sister Spook and Dice to have that kind of control over you. Because as long as me and you are right, That's the right. rest of them Negroes can take a number. <laughs> this is what you tell them, leaders. No, the rest of them Negroes can take a number. Me and you are right. right. If you have a problem, you come see me. And if you need me to address anything, do we need to call a meeting? Because, see, we, we can deal with this. We don't, we don't even have to talk about this like this. I got some spoon dice number right now. I can tell her Tuesday night for Bible study. We need you to get there before 8 o'clock. I need you there at 7. I want to have a little conversation with you. And we can we can deal with that. Per adventure now, I'm handling that the right way. So spoon dice might decide, well, you know what? I done been all them years and Pastor called me to the copy for that new member. I'm out of here. Well, okay, now we done handled it. We done killed two birds with one stone. Right. We got rid of the troublemaker. We got rid of the one that's been running folk off. Threatened by everybody that the Lord's sending. <laughs> so that's how you handle that, leader. You, you, you reach out to that person and look, long as me and you all right, the rest of them Negro can take a number. I don't need you walking away. I need you to and stay you just around. got there. We ain't even we ain't even done what we supposed to do yet. Can't do that to you. Look, Pastor Harris said, what happened when sis got the ammunition from the needle? From the leader. Ooh, that's a whole nother. That's yeah. a whole nother uh that's a story there. That's a whole nother story right there. It's a problem with that leader now, uh, Pastor Lucius. This is it's a, I, I think I think the meeting still need to be had. I think when leaders collaborate with members concerning other members, in so much so that it's detrimental where the member gonna leave. I think now the member and most people might not agree, but I think most members at that point have a certifiable right to say, no, let's go to the leaders. Because it say get two. Right. It say rebuke not an elder except. It don't say don't at all. There are principles mm -hmm. that the elders have to follow, i.e. the leaders. And so if the leaders is slinging mud and somebody about to leave the church because of the mud that the leader slinging to another member who apparently... Is sharing everything to see everybody got a best friend. Right. I tried to tell y'all about them best friends a long time ago. But everybody got somebody that they talk and kick it with. So you telling who you think your best friend, but what happened when your best friend got a best friend? And it ain't you. Yep. Ain't you. So apparently they're sharing the information. And now it's it 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 it, it, it it's messy. So I think you go to the leader with them and then let the leader straighten that and let the leader be the leader that they're supposed to be. Right. Call them to the carpet. All right? Don't be nasty. Don't be disrespectful. But you have a certifiable right as a member and a Christian to come forth and say, hey, this is an, this is an art that we feel that you have against this young lady because you done told me so much stuff and da 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 and go from there. All right? Pastor Phillips say, what does a snake Look like, look like in the church. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you uh, <laughs> go on that one now, <laughs> Bishop. I let you take the hell. You know what I'm saying? I I, I lead him out of you. You follow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you read this one. Out. What does a snake look like in the church? What 
does a snake look like in the church? It definitely, definitely does not look like a snake. A snake in the church definitely don't look like a snake. <laughs> Brother Santana say snakes wear collars and robes and etc. Come on here. And that etc. mean the three-piece suits in the audience and the silk, uh, satin two pieces and the uh, long dresses, uh huh, and 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 and, and 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 on the usher board and on the uh, uh, choir stands and the musicians. Snakes look like ordinary people in the church. That's what snakes look like. Snakes look like ordinary people snakes look like more so deeper than ordinary deep folk if i'm all right bishop you said because <laughs> you got deep folk that's deep you know they yeah, they deep yeah. they save and they deep for real now we do have some deep Say people, and I, again, we need them. You need them. But a snake, a snake going to look deeper than your deepest right deep person. Deeper than the right deep person. Your snake going, boy, that snake, because they got to go the extra mile. Right. They got to go the extra mile. They got because they know they're a snake. So they got the camouflage. They got, they can't do nothing wrong. They got, they, everything is, oh my God. I got it. That's a snake. They reach, oh man, they, they, oh my goodness. That snake is that judgmental critical person. That snake is always right and everybody else wrong. That snake always got something else that he can put on it or say to it or add with it. The snake. That's my take. Bishop. Well, I'm, I'm not going to fear from what it is. Um, <clears throat> just like it, it, they said, the snake, it ain't no different than the wolf coming in sheep clothing. How do we know a wolf is in sheep clothing? Because the characteristics of a wolf is to attack the sheep. Come on. When sheep attack sheep, you got characteristics of a wolf. So a snake, as Bishop said, is going to always camouflage. And you got to understand, listen to what they say compared to how they maneuver. Ooh. They'll say one thing, Ooh. but they move in a whole different way. Ooh. Um, if you ever notice, if you ever watch snakes on the animal channel, a snake just don't leap out and bite you. Mm. He stands there and, and, mm -hmm. and he notices which way you're going. Set it up. He sees how you, if you're going to go to your right or to your left. Mm. And then a snake always knows the length they can go to bite you. Mm. Some mm. snakes can coil up and go to full length. Some mm. of them can't go half the length. So a snake knows their potential. They know how poisonous they are. They wow. know who they can infect. Wow. They know who has the antidote. Wow. They know who do not, who's, what they say, who's vaccinated. And they know who to creep up on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Adam been there all the time. Adam gave the snake his name. <laughs> Why come you ain't go to Adam and say, the Lord ain't really said what he said. You can eat from the, you can do that. You can really go do ahead. that. Ain't nobody ain't, gonna yeah, go ahead. Ain't nobody going to buy it. Go ahead. Ain't nobody going to buy it. You ain't going to truly die. You ain't going to really die. Why ain't go to, why come he ain't go to Adam with that? Because he knew. Absolutely. Adam got it hot off the press, reiterated it to his woman. So he said, if I'm going to shoot this shot, I better shoot it with the person who heard it from uh, 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 somebody else rather than got it from God. And you got to watch them people who hearing it from somebody else versus the people who got it from God. Some of y'all are walking away from the people who got it from God just to get it from somebody who yeah, heard from somebody it from else. somebody else. You got to be careful of that now. Too many of y'all want to hear it through the grapevine. There's a problem with that. But the snake 
recognizes, like Bishop say, who we can go to and who we can slither up on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're not a suspect. And another identity, how you identify the snake. Remember, he's cunning. Slick. He gonna do it. He, uh, he he's beguiling. He's gonna do the exact same thing. He ain't got no new way. Still kill and destroy. He gonna do just like he did with Eve. Gonna try to beguile you. Whatever Bishop say or whatever I say, he gonna say something different. Right. He gonna try to get you to. He gonna say, "Well, bitch, I know that what he said, but but it really mean." He gonna always critique your Bible study. He gonna always take your message and. Try to say something different. He always try to point out the flaws. And what God, that's a snake right there. Because you, if you really felt that way about my teaching and my biblical studies, why you ain't coming to me? Right. If you really wanted to be a help, if you really thought that what you were saying supersedes what I'm saying, put them on hold, then why you ain't coming to the bishop? Why are you ain't going to the pastor saying, hey, you know, you Bible study, you had said something in X, Y. Why we not, why are you going to the members? Dialoguing with the sheep. Why are you, at, that's a snake. <laughs> why are you going out there? Talking about, oh yeah, you heard him say that. Yeah, he messed up then. Yeah, that one, he wasn't supposed to say that now. You see, and this how people get, you You having a Bible study after Bible study. Trying to, trying to build a church in the church. I'm just being frank. <laughs> You snake, you. So that's how you recognize a snake. I think we answered uh, Pastor Phillips' that's question. Right. That's what a snake looked like. Uh, Pastor, let us know if we did good. They, 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 they don't. They, they don't look like no snake. Very beguiling. No, sir. Gonna challenge everything that comes forth in the ministry. Gonna try to say it's another thing and win another way. They gonna try to prove themselves greater than the leaders thereof. That's what got old Lucifer thrown out of heaven. He wanted to exalt himself above the head nigga in charge. If I can. He said, no, they ain't you not see it's me. Y'all pardon me. Okay, we got a caller. Let's take this call. We think we done well with that. Talk to me. Who am I? Sorry, Dr. Phillips. Listen, I, I, I just want to. I knew it. I want to, yeah, I wanted to chime in. I wanted to chime in. I, 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 Mr. Bird, I wanted to chime in. And I'm, I'm going to cut it out because I've already, already called. I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> but yeah, have, you ever noticed, have you ever noticed that a snake uses the one thing that looks just like them? If you take a phone and put it on vibrate and put it on the table, watch it, watch it slither. Yes, sir. Wow. And that's what they use most of the time. They either going to take some message or they're going to phone behind your back. Because wow. they're using the same thing. That they, I, and I just wanted to bring that because you hit it right on the head, Bishop uh, Lord, where you said, how he, 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 if you can stand before somebody and tell them what the bishop or the pastor said, why you can't stand, stand in front of the pastor and say it? Correct. Absolutely. If you mean well. If you mean well. And that's the reason, and that's usually how they come. If they come with those words, I would say, I was talking about that Sunday, is, 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 and how people like to come to you, and the first thing they want to say to you is, "I don't want to hurt you," or you know, or something like that. And the first, and, with the, and the first word that comes out of their mouth is "sticks a dagger right in your heart." Mm, but but I, I don't mean to hurt you. I, I didn't come to hurt you. I mean, and, and and that's what snakes do. And 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 I just know that I, I I watched my phone vibrate across the table. So man, that's, hey man, like a snake. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> and that's exactly Slither. what they do. As soon as you leave the church, they hit the phone and they start texting or, or calling somebody, just like a snake. Their, their, their favorite device, their favorite device, their favorite venom. Wow, right. wow. They, they, they take it with them. So I'm, I'm off now because I called already one time. I don't want to take, take, right. take any right, time dog. away from anybody else. You yeah, all right. Hey, good night again, man. I talked to y'all. Yes, sir. We so we did we did good. We did good. Yes, yeah, y'all did great. Y'all did great. Not I only the brought the que I, I I brought the <laughs> question. I, I put several questions on, but it's mostly for people so 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 people can recognize some of these things that they're seeing. If we're gonna help people, sometimes we have to, you know, we have to point out some of these things that they yeah, can they see. Can, right. And so right. They, right. So they can, you can see it. So when you see it, then you know how to deal with it. 
you know, it's not like I, you know, I didn't, I didn't really realize what it was, but I think that there's some people out there that, that probably dealing with that and don't know they're dealing with it. Absolutely. And so that, that was the reason that I really brought up the question. I put another question on there. If you get a chance to, to look at it, look at it. If you don't, tell me not. Tell it's me okay. not. What is it, well, I, I, well, my other thing was is, is, is we 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 have gotten comfortable with just doing church online. You don't you don't want to walk into church anymore. Mm. Complacent, and I got complacent. Right. Mm. That, that was my other thing, and, and 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 you know, like Bishop, you said it once before, and I thought it was, I thought it was really powerful. Is that most of the time y'all sitting there looking at you and, and you're listening to an online preacher, and he's standing in the church, and you sitting at the house. You at the house. <laughs> you at the house. But the one wow. you watching is in church. So yes. so so it's evident that. The forsaking not the assembling of yourself is imperative mm -hmm. in this day and time. Absolutely. In fact, the enemy with 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 the with the with the plague, and let me say this right, because the plague is is, is of God. And everybody yeah. may not agree with me, but you know, when the chastening <laughs> takes place, you know, God uses what he made mm -hmm. to bring us mm -hmm. into order. But always when God tests, the enemy tempts. He's always mm -hmm. gonna try to do what God is doing. So anytime there's a test going on, rest assured there's some temptation going temptation, on temptation. at the same mm -hmm. darn time. You know what I'm saying? He's always trying to do what God do. So God said, well, let me send a plague and try to shape order into the land. Well, then he'll say, okay, well, I can't stop the plague. I can't do nothing about it. So let me try to capitalize on it. I'm going to divide and conquer the church in the same era. Because God mm -hmm. want to wanna control the airwaves, the the the, the, the byways, the highways, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So there's an appropriate to social media and doing that. But when you start negating and neglecting the fact that the local church is essential, you've missed the mark. And there's the divide and conquer that the enemy done slipped in now and said, okay, no, we ain't doing that. We, fit, we ain't going back to the bill, you know, da, da, da. so now you're operating in fear rather than faith. Mm -hmm. And that's what the enemy tries. And I don't think that uh, we can, a as Christians, we have to we have to man the ship. We have to do the hard thing. You know, there are rules of the land, there's laws of the land, there's things that we have to abide therein. Nonetheless, when people select that route, you know, and, and I think it's good, I don't disqualify uh uh, social media church and internet church and that because there are older people that can't get out. Right. They they mm -hmm. they stuck to the house. There's people that that can't move and they they should not be mm -hmm. denied the gospel. You know, being confined to a place and so the gospel should be able to be pumped into the house. But these jokers who can move around and can get to where they're going and all that and just have become complacent, like Bishop said, and lazy. No. No, that's and, and I think, I think, and I think, feeding off of what you just said, as far as the, you know, those who can't get to the church, I, that that's like you said, that's truly understandable. And then there's those who who've gotten to a place where you know, I I, 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 get, I get the opportunity to just say I went to church because I can listen to it while I'm riding in the car, or while I'm on the phone, or, or while I'm sitting at the house. And 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 you and I've never yet been online. Uh, watching or having church and, and got the same results as when I'm sitting in the building. Absolutely. It's impossible. It's, 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 it's I mean, impossible. And, and, and that was the reason that I brought that up because, see, some of us, we don't want to look at that uh, um, look at it that way. We look at it from I went or, or I got the word or, or, or I think I got the word. But there is a there is a, a a a certain movement, so to speak, <laughs> when you're inside that building and you're right there and that word is being spoken. It is something different. It is totally. I mean, it is really something different. And just like you, uh, you just said you you actually just said that the snake when 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 the snake showed <laughs> showed up again, even when uh when when, when God said you know I even though we don't we got this this COVID thing. I'm gonna put it on the airway there, and, and and the snake showed up again. Okay. He showed up again, didn't he? He showed up again, yeah. didn't he? Absolutely. Wow! Ain't that something? Y'all, y'all powerful. Y'all, y'all should do this again next week. I can sit right here, and I ain't gotta go to church. I can just sit right here. 
I sit right here and just do this right here. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to tell you, I want to take up all your time, man. You got, you got, you got a powerful uh, conversation going on. Yeah, I love all the questions, man. They're they're, they're very powerful questions. And, and again, I think it's, this is a really, really great thing you're doing because people get to ask questions that they, you know, that they really want to deal with. And that is, that is always good, you know, because we don't know it all. And although they think we do, as soon as you uh, you became a bishop or a pastor, the first thing happened is you you became the most saved person in the world and you know everything. So I... Uh, Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so yeah, I, I I love it. I love it. I think it's a great thing, and I and 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 and, and thank you for being my brothers, both of y'all. I love both of you guys, man. You guys are you guys are great. You guys are great, and and and, and your listening audience is, is, as well. They they're some great people. So you can look on there. You can see something that there every week. And I love that. I love that. To, to support the bishop like this is some good stuff. That's it's God, good stuff. man. That's God. That's God. Yeah. Well, we thank but you. keep loading up our churches. Don't, 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 don't get online. Bring, bring your phones with you. You can watch it online while you're sitting in the church. <laughs> Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, don't, <laughs> yeah, don't nah, get I'm going to let y'all go yeah, ahead, man. Let's, let's, let's rub shoulders together. Yeah. Let the shepherd smell like the sheep. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we, we, we thank God yeah. for you, man. Yeah. Yeah, thank God for y'all too. All right, okay, God bless. We, there was another caller? They hung up. All right, so listen, I think we've done this justice tonight, man. Yeah, we did. I ain't gonna, we, we sorry we couldn't get to your question. Uh, we, you know, we tried to get everybody question. We tried to read, you know, the, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, statements, you know. My lovely wife say, dialoguing with the sheep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. See what I'm saying? So, uh, snake study the weaker link and then come after them. Uh, uh, know know who to slither up on. Absolutely, they yeah, see. Absolutely. They they watching. They check. That's like the sheep. The sheep grabbed that. That I mean the wolf. He grabbed that sheep at the back of the line. The wolf never runs to the front of the line. Always the back. He always. Y'all be careful sitting in the back of the church. You're walking in. Come on, might as well, might as well just do it Open how we point. do it. You Open know what I'm saying? Point. Stop walking in the church, head straight to the bike. You, you, you in, you in the wolf section. <laughs> you don't even know you coming in. You know you when you come to the front, you 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 near the shepherd, and the shepherd gonna black the eye of the wolf. The wolf know that. The get he if the wolf know the closer he get to the shepherd, it, his life is in jeopardy. Right. He know that he's subject to be killed coming up to the front. Went by the shepherd. He know that it ain't the sheep dogs are in the front. The shepherd is in the front. <laughs> the, 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 the little sheep boy that why they in the front. They in the front because sheep follow. So they 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 in the front. He, he coming up there. Study this. Take your time and study this in a natural sense and watch where the sheep where the wolf go. He shows up. In the back of the line, at the back of the herd, he gets that sheep that's that's wondering, right? That's lurking, that ain't paying attention, that's on that phone. I'm sorry, that's uh walking and not grazing like he posed to, looking around, mesmerized by the light instead of the grass right. that's in front of him, and he 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 gets upside him, and then he'll growl. And when he growled, all the other sheep, they join real close and they move forward. But that one, because he done isolated that one from the rest of the crowd, it draws near to the wolf. Because that's what sheep do. They get scared and they try to get close. The sheep done, the wolf done peep that. So when he get that sheep close to him, he stopped moving and the sheep ain't going to move. So while the rest of the church, I mean the sheep going forward, <laughs> following the leader, that person in the back is stuck with the wolf. Mm -hmm. Once he separate that sheep from the from the pack, you already know what it is. <laughs> Devour. Unless the shepherd get wind and go back there and catch you with yourself, you all messed up and you messed up because you messed up. You allowed yourself to be separated from the flock. From the flock. And you can't charge that to the shepherd because while he's lead, he's got a job to lead and feed. 
the sheep got a responsibility to follow and swallow. And y'all ain't liking this because I know that we got some portion of the book that say ain't no man. Reread that. And God never fights with himself. All scripture is inspired by God. So why would he tell you ain't no man can teach you? And you misreading that because that ain't what it really say. But ain't no man can teach you. But then say he gave you pastors after your own heart. Hey, are, you, are, you, are you serious? You in the wrong section. Come on, you in the wrong section. <laughs> Sitting in the back of the church. Uh, look, I, I learned that long time ago. You in the wolf section. It's a whole lot going on in the back of the church. I know you humble. I know you all of that. But we need your humility to brought to the front. Teach people on the front row how to act. Because the people on the front row be doing some crazy stuff. They be getting their shine on a lot of times. They don't even know how to act. They ain't got no humility. They sitting up there all dignified and stuck up and conceited. So bring your humble self to the front to the front, and show us how to act on the front row. Am I making sense? So that's what we're doing. So, you know, so let's, um yeah, stop coming. And I'm telling you now, I'm, that's word to the wire. Man, Bishop here, bring it on up. Bring it on up. Come in and move. You, look, you, you, safety is at the, the altar. Yeah. The trouble in the water is at the altar. <laughs> Grace and mercy is at the altar. altar. So get near the altar. Get out that back. Yeah, get come, hey, come from the court and get into the holy place. God <laughs> help us. To know. Come to the inner court. Come to the inner court. Move from that outer court. And let God do what he gonna do. All right, Bishop, I think we done done it, man. So let's, yes, yeah, we tap it up for the night. Tap it up for the bishops. We do it, we did good. New creature, can we let it go? I mean, we got a variety of stuff, uh, 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 hits and things, but it was so good tonight, we couldn't do it. You know, we'll give you a little bit while we talking. We trying to mix up how we finna give away this money. The sponsor is here tonight. Do we have a commercial? Can we put it up? Let's put this up. Let's put this up. I'm going to play a little something for you. My wife told me to go back. What did I play before I went to break? What was that that I played? No, I played a song as I exit out, and then you played the commercial box. Forgiven. She want to My wife said spend that back. So, I'm, um, you know when the overseer say spend it back, new creature, we got to spend it back. You know what I'm saying? She, she's a family man and all that, so when you should get there. We can, <laughs> we can get in a vein with something like this here. Uh, we got to go ahead and know. Uh, Get in a vein like this here. So let's do this right quick while we get this uh, money together to get away. Look, he gave me the energy because the enemy had me so lazy. The moment Woo! that I hit a beat drop is like the Holy Spirit go crazy. Stop it, I say. Lies, depression and anger, he still I, 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 can't I do it. I know why you like me. this one, Overseer. Since I'm living, he already paid me crazy. It's I was straight, too focused on so what didn't matter, yet he was still with me the whole time. Call forgiveness. Tired, so tired when I repented, he made the soul rise. Give no more love me. No more cries now that I'm alive. I know it's can on you the line. Can you forgive me? Because I know that I had made the same mistake. No, I messed up. I know I came short. And it's written. Yeah. So I don't even. Can you forgive me? Rewind. Look, he gave me the energy because the enemy had me so lazy. The moment that I hit a beat drop is like the Holy Spirit go crazy. Even through all of my lies, depression and anger, he still came through and he said, Bringing you that bonus money tonight by the time. He already paid me crazy. I was too far from the club deliverance. With me the whole time, untied every Where the leaders are. He made the soul rise. No the more one and only, no too real to be a phony. The line used to hold Bishop because I John I Burton Senior. <laughs> and and a lovely wife. So I don't even got a voice. The enemy try to discourage my mouth. Lady Burton. Burton it out, and I know that God. Hope you in the house. But she in the building. Know, it confuses me about what hey. I'm talking about. Lessons gotta get through it to get to the blessings. I'm Tell it all the through the building. Tell it all through the house. Carry on, jobs and vote. Making the fool of me, God, you've been patient. And all he got to guide me because all this is due to the junior bishop Jake. <laughs> and I finally listen. Woo! And the Lord is a witness. It's so a collabo. Because now I'm forgiven. It's a burden thing, y'all. Now I'm elevated. Get with it and get ran over. Heard all my prayers because I'm forgiven. Oh, we recognize. Oh, we recognize. Started replacing my friends. Now I ain't nobody mad but the devil. 
That's why it's so easy for me to be. Vote had a little more love tonight, but the love that we got, we gonna capitalize on that. I feel like I come up with a plan, the devil be plotting. Had somebody tell me today, stop looking back, move forward. Everything God got, God got for you in front of you. Be selling music with no truth. Not to tell you that's behind you. You don't need to conquer it. I've been waiting for my Bible for clarity. I got some secrets and answers. I'm searching, watching my parents divorce after 20 years. You can't tell me the devil not working right now. You hurt me. I am affected by these generations. Cause all your help come from I the Lord. I guess a regular thing, but I'm not a regular person. Yo, hey. I'm not perfect, but I'ma change the industry. I'm about to set it on fire. Sending me in like I'm Jeremiah. Sending me hey, in like I'm not the Messiah. Sending me in like I'm Moses. They trying to play with God like we don't know this. DJ it Bishop. Obvious? Everyone knows it, but Freddy if they don't, they're gonna expose it. All of these lyrics keep on my brain. Glory to no God, mo. he's going insane. All of the snakes. I had to let him go. Just wanna distract me with money and fame. I used to get tempted, he but now I'm afraid. He was sending me to the penitentiary, and we ain't got no more time to give him. No one else in my land. I'ma have everyone saying the name Jesus. I'm gonna rub shoulder with the Bishop. I got to stay out here. So let me get out of my feelings, cause now I'm forgiven. Be good with the bishop. And he broke down all the layers. Now I'm not saying nothing. Nothing. I know that he heard all my prayers, cause I am forgiven. No preacher. I stopped following all of the trends. Then he with the hits. My friends. Now I don't even remember all my day friends, every. I am forgiven. That's why it's so Brother easy. Brother Marvin Wright. I gotta put him on notice. Get ready for that takeover. I don't think they notice that I am forgiven. I am forgiven, and ain't nobody mad but the devil. All right, we getting this money right, but we're going to do a little something for y'all right quick. Don't turn. Don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. Don't, turn your back. don't walk away. Hey. Oh, he loves you. Thinking of you. You would struggle. Tell him me. You would pray. Talk. Don't you forget. Don't turn don't your you back. Forget. Don't you forget who made a We way. need your face to face. Call you special, call you just to fall I got Bishop with me, and we got bars. My moments when I feel like it's all good. It's all good. I believe you in a way that money never could. Are we making sense tonight? These longer than they should. I was overly dedicated to being elevated. Hated, pushed down like the gas. I accelerated. Feel I made it. That's right, man. 50 grand on the ones and the two. I basically instinct like Sharon Stone. Who loves you? out of Egypt. Now my money. Right, I'm Woo! eating. I'm gonna I'ma need my mornings, evenings, and my weekends back. Cast all your you burdens on the Lord. Right, I show partial Cause you know I'm Bishop Burton. Probably do the round of eight eleven. It the ain't the same. State of autonomy, my heart. One with a D. That war with pie going down. Boy, that's burn. But then there's one with a T. Don't turn your back. Don't turn Take your it to back. the top. Don't walk Bishop Burton. Y'all ain't like it. You ain't like it. Let's eat. You would pray, don't you forget, yeah. don't you forget, don't you forget, don't forget. We are gonna need y'all to remember this tonight. Yes, sir. For you just to fall. Pastor E, not the MVP. Life ain't promised except for those. Close to love. Open door 365. The town. The gam fuck. What they do. Committed to the cause. Thurma Hayes. Elder. Repping it so well. We love you, man. We feel the love through you. Who? You're illiterate. Your success may be illegitimate. Are you kidding about this money? So you see what you are dealing with. You think they care about you? No. Messiah But then you know that. They only care about what. What they can't do without He saved us for real And whom the sun set free hey. Now being far away from God Free me I can't mix it like Mervyn So I'll leave it alone Don't turn your back Don't turn your back Don't lie Don't turn your back 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 you would struggle and you would pray. Don't you forget. Don't you forget. Don't they got me thinking forget. I can sing, y'all. So, ain't he ain't he he you. Or you, <laughs> or you just to fall away. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We finna get away some money. We, we <laughs> hey. The Bouncing Bishops is in the, the building. The Bouncing Bishops on the ones and twos. I can't hear. Nobody. All right, let's get away to my. Let's see what new creatures say. She said the bouncing bishop. The bouncing bishop. Got all the head laughing or something. Lady Lord, you know how it is with me and the bishop get together. It's a collabo. Ain't nothing but a party. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. <laughs> all right, new creature ready. So let's do it. Right, I'm gonna let Bishop do the honors.
Are we gonna do the? We do, let, let's do the bonus first or bonus last? Get somebody the opportunity to shoot for it for their twenty five. All right. So first, so this this lunch money right here, y'all. This lunch money, whatever name you throw them all out. Uh, whatever whatever name the bishop pull. The first one that's gonna be. You gonna win the first batch of money, all right? Lady Lord, you already know. Said, and you then too. Taylor said you sang your heart out last night. Yeah, Listen, bitch, Taylor, bitch I, I wish I chorus. could receive that as as being truthful coming from you, but I know you. I know you being a little sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? I, I just know you are. I just I just feel it. And if you're not, I stand corrected. But if you if you sincere from your heart, I receive that, daughter. I do. You know what I'm saying? She said I saw my heart out last night. Bishop, pull this name. Let's see who we're gonna get his money to. You the first person. Uh compliments of the bishop one time. Read that off and let's see who got this money before we go to this next hit. Mary Thomas. Mary Thomas. Mary Thomas. What's your last week? You do the disclaimer? Auntie, you still here? Still Auntie still here. Auntie, you still here? Auntie, you got, <laughs> you got 10. You got 10. You got 10 seconds, Auntie. You got 10 seconds, Auntie. You already done won um, the money, but here we go. Countdown. 10. 9. nine. Eight. There she is. And it's dead. Auntie here. Auntie, you won last week? You ain't win last week. Okay, you're a candidate. I think we ain't gonna let the people win from last week, this week. We're gonna do a thing about it. Auntie, you're a winner. You're a winner. We're gonna take one more from that. Let me pull. Let me see who I pull. Okay. Let's see who I pull. Mary Thomas, you already in the house. All right, who I got? What is this? Let's see, Bishop. Stop it, I say. Stop it, I say. Ha! The one and only Lady Hope Burton! Woo! <laughs> huh? It's a Burton collabo. Every time Bishop own new creatures say Lady Burton wins, isn't that something? She tapped That means in. they plugged in. Lady Burton, the money's yours. You got to show us you're still with us. Yeah. You got something. 10 seconds. How this work? We count down <laughs> from 10 all the way to 1. And if you own, then we got you the money. But once we start counting, it's a riz out. It's a wrap. <laughs> Come so through. We got to count because we count. On everybody. <laughs> so we starting to count now. And you got to show us on the screen. That's because you are a Facebook of uh, a uh, 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 visitor audience. I got to see it. I can't buy no more time. <laughs> the count is now. Ten. Ten. Nine. nine eight. eight. Seven, Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Bishop, what was your sermon last night? What you preached last night? Don't Lord. take the bait. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. That was a good message last night. Don't take the bait. I'm telling you, that was a good message last night. Where we at? Uh, Seven, five. Six. Yeah, we over in there. Four. <laughs> three. She done tapped out. So. He said, Bishop, call your wife. She's supposed to be on One. Ah. Oh. We pull it. We pull it. We pull it. We pull it. She just came back, too. She did? Lord have mercy. She all said, right. I'm on. Okay. All right. All right. Look, all right. This is how we got. We got to be fair. <laughs> We gotta pull another name, but we gon' we gon' we the lady just cause she got she got she got it like that. You know what I'm saying? We gon' 
you, you, all right, all right, all right, all right. The bishop has recognized it. But we got to, we got to, we got to pull another one. Uh, it's only right. If we don't pull another one, they, they gonna, they gonna kill us. So, uh, trombone is decent and in order. Lady Burton, don't you go nowhere. We that's, got an elder. Lucius. That's what we saying. He that's said what, she, he, Luke Pastor Harris said she was back before one. She was back before one. All right, that, that he, that's a pastor. He don't. He, he's not gonna lie to us. All right. So then, on that note, let's clap it up, Lady Burton. Uh, Lady B. That uh, lunch money. The water. Got that lunch money. All right. So <laughs> so we good. And 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 and, and, and Pastor Phillips already has said he was gonna handle it anyway. So you good. So we gonna do this here. We'll give a. We'll give uh we'll we'll give a now let Burn pull the other one. I pull it was so the pull on him. Let Burn pull. Let Burn pull. Put them, put them, put them so you understand. Jonathan Jonathan Garrett? Garrett. Did Jonathan win last week? I don't think so. I think it's been two weeks. Jonathan Garrett. Jonathan Garrett. He's the next winner up on the radio lunch money. I'm just being frank. <laughs> All right, Minister Garrett. We hoping that you're still up. We want to have to tap you out. We got it today. Yeah, my man. My man is in the grand. There you go. All right. All right. All right. He already on. He sucked the hearts. He ain't got to say nothing. We know he there. All right. We got you. Okay. So now, um, we need, we done the two names, two callers. We need two callers. Right now, we need caller number seven. And I want to play this for you, but we need caller number seven right now. Phone call, phone lines open. Yeah. Last key child, oldest it's the lyrics for me. Style. Learn the ropes from older folks while blowing smoke. Like Listen what he's saying right now. Call him number one. Call back. Chest cause he was stressed. Said I wasn't old enough to check him yet. I better respect. He caught a body. That was a flex. He came home. I was highly Call upset. Call number two. Call ready. back. He had a gauge and I ain't when it pressed against my neck. Stayed in my place. Full of disgrace. Watching the fiend put a Call flash in the number face. three. Like Call jump, back. Ready to rumble. Recording my soul on a bunch of these tapes. On Saturdays, church was great. Call the number word, four. Call plate. back. Filling my belly with steak. Time man try to sell me the Call the number five. Call back. God came with the settlement case. Temptation. Call the number six. Men Call back. Call a number seven. Turn your radio down. Turn your radio down. Turn your turn your device down. We're getting feedback. What's your name? Where you calling from? It's Ella Hayes. Ella Hayes. Speed down. How we got? You know what I'm saying? Change you tonight. All right, Elder, what's the radio station and show that made you a winner again? H-O-L-C, let's be frank. Woo! <laughs> and it must be true. All right, we need caller number five. Call number five. Yeah, last key child, older Sephora with a little style. Learn the ropes from older folks. Call wow. number one, one. call back. My step pop punch me in the two. Call back. Said I wasn't old enough to check him yet. I call the number three. Call back. He came home. I was highly upset. Three. I was in oh, call the number three. Call, and three. call back. I pressed against my neck. Stayed in my place. Full of call the number so four. Call, the call the back. In the jungle, ready to rumble. Record call the number five. Bunch. You the lucky winner. Who's on the radio? What's your name? Where you calling from? Pastor Harris. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Tampa. All the way from He's still there. He's still there. <laughs> Pastor Harris calling all the way from the West Coast. <laughs> from the West Coast in our pocket. Remnant is Bless in the you. building. Remnant. Remnant. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's that. With that, the lunch money, Lucius, Pastor Harris, what's the radio station and the show that made you a winner tonight? 
Let's be, let's be Frank show. Gotta give it to him. Gotta love him. That's your man, 50 grand. We got that. All right, man. Uh, cash out. Send it back to us on 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 the uh on the radio phone nine five four five nine one twenty five eighty. We got it, and you already know how this thing works because you done won before. Pastor Harris, y'all. <laughs> Okay, now, now, I need the flyer. I need the flyer. This next bunch of money that's finna be gave away, and I don't know, you doing call number 10 or you doing a question? All right. So say the engineer. Huh? For, for nobody not to have nothing, right? All right. This next bunch of money. Now, did Lady Hope send hers? That's the right place. Yeah, if she, if what she put on there, where we gonna send it? It's on here. It's on. Yeah, you right. See it? Okay. Yeah, he got it. Um, Lady B, we respond. We are sponsoring this money giveaway. Look at that. Slide. Sponsored by the tab. By the tab. You see it? You see them people back there, just <laughs> as beautiful as ever. That is the Bishop Burton. And the lovely lady Hope Burton and the Tabernacle of Deliverance. Yeah. They sponsoring this money. They about to give somebody 50 large. <laughs> Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? Or will it be you? Or will it be you? <laughs> this one ain't no number, y'all. This one ain't no alphabet. There is a question to be asked. When we take the question, we're going to, are we going to do call up? Are we just the first one get in? First call to get in. Once we give the question, then we're going to take the, the phone line going to be open. And when you call, we're going to ask you the question. If you don't get it, we moving on to the next person like that. If you've already won and you call in and you already done won and you call in for the 50, if you answer the question wrong, you lose your 25 and you don't get the 50. So you actually open the door for somebody else to be blessed with your lunch money and then you keep the door open for the bonus that the tabernacle of praise, <laughs> deliverance. We'll Give it away we'll, tonight. We'll take it. We'll take it. Somebody they must be talking about me. <laughs> Tabernacle of deliverance. And the best way to sum that up is the tab. The tab. <laughs> All right. So you got the question ready? Yeah. Phone lines open. Phone lines open. His mic open. His mic open. Uh, two. Oh, two. Two of them. Oh, okay. Unlock him right there, the red one. Phone lines open. Phone lines open. Upon. This will call I will. Will you call in right now and get them fits and skins? People praying they out there. But it's more people praying for faithful. That's that blessed money. Sponsored by the town. The one and only Bishop John Burton Sr. And his lovely wife, Lady Hope Burton, bringing you 50. You the first one. Now you won the call. But do you can you answer the question? Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? This is Sandra Brown. Hello. Hey, aka Michelle. <laughs> Minister Legend's sister, aka. All right. How you doing? New creature got, hey, you got the flow, Michelle. You gotta follow new creature. Go ahead, new creature. All right. Okay. The question is, uh, how long has Bishop Burton been in ministry? Over the course of the show, they talked. My dad said how long he was in ministry, and Bishop Burton came right behind him and said how long he was in ministry. I but believe he said 14 years. Sorry if I cut you off. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, you right, baby. <laughs> Fit the Lord! Right. Sponsored right. by the tab! Come into cash out. Woo! We need your cash out 
Hey, y'all can't even be mad because she she banged that. She ain't even she ain't even play with you. She ain't say, um, let me see. Um, uh, she straight banged that. So when we ask the question, will she? She will. That's the song, y'all. Hey, Michelle, what's the radio station and show that made you when you cut off? All right, that, we know you know. Type it on the screen. What radio station and show made you a one of the night, Michelle? Put it on the screen so they all know. And everybody know Lottie Dotty and everybody. This will call I will. Hey, me and Bishop getting ready to get up out of here. It's been fun. But we got to run. It's been a real treat. But we going to get something to eat. It's time to go on the Let's Be Frank show. We love you, Pastor Phillips, Georgia, Tampa. Bleak Carolina was in the house for a minute. I wasn't raised to serve. Oh, y'all. We ain't nothing without y'all. Sometimes I want to say So we thank you. Elder Hayes, you already know. Santana, way to support. Way to come through, young lad. Mervyn, Sister Wright, Adrian, Overseer. Don't let me start calling names. Because it was 30 some of y'all on here tonight. It'll take a long time to hit everybody. We love everybody. Pastor Harry, tap in the house. We got you. We love you. Mia, you already know. Minister Garrett, come on, man. If I got to tell you, you missed it. Love is in the air. We square. We love y'all for real. Bishop, anything to say in the last words? Love you all. Thanks for support. Minister Dana, Alexander Porter, shout you out all the way from the higher praise. Under Apostle Lorraine Alexander supporting Pastor Lorraine. See radio tonight with the Bouncing Bishops. The Bouncing Bishops. Hey! We out, y'all. I know it's worth his weight and glory. See, I know it's people praying on me, but it's more people praying for me. Oh, I will, I will, I will, stay faithful. Yeah.